when I use move component on a polygonal mesh here, we have no control over the fall off until I turn on proportional modeling. Then I have this little radius indicator of how it's going to affect the surrounding neighborhood. If I middle click, I'm using my translate vertically. If I hold down R and middle click, I change the radius of my brush. If I were to have a tagged point, say right here in the middle, and I translate, I can see the radius like so. If I hold down R and middle click, I can control that radius. Each of these is controlling the distance limit inside the proportional options, which can also be found in proportional setup as well as right clicking on proportional here. So as you can see, it gives us a nice fall off. This profile is the same as this profile here. If I were to change this profile, you don't see the change now because this is the global properties. Every move component with proportional modeling lives in the construction history and I can go back and change the original in here. I can even add like so. With this, I could actually change the original distance limit to get an interesting effect here. If I were to delete the move component, I delete the construction history. The options inside the proportional will start with consider neighborhood. If I were to translate these, you can see it's working on this entire scale. If I were to use consider neighborhood, now I translate them. With these points selected, if I were to translate them, you can see the fall off is going quite a distance. Let's reduce this slightly, like so. When moving it, you can see the influence. If I were to turn consider neighborhood on, you can see that it considers only this area rather than going down the object and back up this side. Local and global. Most often you'll be working in a global reference space. I'll to grow the selection here. When I manipulate this, I get the strand standard fall off. If my object had been sort of scaled non-uniformly, like so, now when I do my interaction, probably best to see it with the move component. With global, you can see it's spherical. With local, it will be more elliptical. So if we were to go into translate, you can see local, more elliptical, and global, more spherical. This is for non-uniform scaling. If I go to tag points only, I'm just going to shift and right click here and hit 1 to return it back to normal scaling. You can see the tag points here. Without the tag points, you can see the effect. With tag points only, the control is the same distance. That's because the tagged points and the manipulation area are the same. So here are my tagged points. And now when I go into move component, you can see it's just moving the move comp the tag points here. Irrespective of how big my distance limit is, 
just working on those tag points there. If I were to reduce this right down, I'm inside the range. So the tag points only is in respect to the move tool. If I look at the NURBS now, and open up the tag points here, as I move them, I have standard influence of the distance limit. If I want to restrict it to U or V, say, I can, irrespective of the distance limit. The bounding box around the UVs can be rectangular or more oval, elliptical. 